Al is de roos. Meer zo zo staan en meer al los zijn. While you're where you're at today, it's not serving God because you was looking for something. You was lying to you about the devil and you looked in the wrong place. Amen. you realize it don't work, the better off you will be. Amen. Truth. This is my burden tonight. Yeah. Acts 10, 34. Acts 10, 34. You know, you all can help me preach. You'll pray and your mind to the Lord. Amen. You need to do that. There are people here who need this message. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of person. But every nation he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted excuse me, with him. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. Thank you very much tonight. We're in revival tonight. It's going to be this night every night. How many of you will fight to maintain your spirit, keep your mind focused on the Lord? Pray for me, but pray also this night for the hearer. My thought tonight is exactly what we found this night in the last part of verse 34. This is my thought. God is no respecter of person. We look around this night, many things. This night, God gets blamed for this night. There's nothing. This is not my free but her decisions, my free made your mom and dad decision, or maybe someone around us this night. I'm gonna go this night, remember this night in the word of God. My friend, I know there is one thing, God is no respect your person, because one day I am going to die. My friend, it's not God is not mean to me when I die this night, I hand this night of a vile criminal. My friend, for the glory of God, I die, my friend, on the bed of flicks for cancer. My friend, God still no respect your person. My friend, there are promises, my friend, that God made. God never promised you and I. My friend, heaven upon this earth, my friend, there are things, my friend, that's the laws of God that you and I are not going to change. There are things this night I don't, my friend, claim to understand. A brother came to you about a certain part of the scripture. There, that's not in the word of God. I told myself, I don't fully understand all that. And I'll be honest. My friend, it doesn't really bother me. But I'll tell you why, my friend, is that I need to know that. Then God will give me, my friend, understanding of that. But my friend, they're thinking this now. I'm going to say, you do not turn your Bibles. And you want this now to Acts chapter 1, verse 7. And you want my friend, the apostles, my friend, had a question. That one way I know this not they want to answer for, but really this not listen, was not their concern. They said, Lord, at this time you again restore the kingdom. This not unto Israel. Talk about, my friend, this not the thousand year reign. You know, this is what Jesus said. He said, the time and season this night, you have no need that I write you this night. Hey, you this not listen to the Father this night and put this night in his own power. My friend, there are things this night, listen, I don't know why a child this night dies of fear or all. I don't have the answers to that, but I can tell you one thing, God has a purpose for that. I will say this, if you go in John 10, 10, listen, the Lord is not my friend in the destroying business. My friend, right now, we live this night in the age of grace. And my friend, the thing this night that, that God's all about, my friend, this night he's trying to redeem my friend, broken man. Yeah. And let me say this able to cross this room tonight. The Bible said it's not for God to love the world. You know what that means, my friend? Yeah. He's not talking, my friend. It's not about yeah. my friend. It's not the mountains. My friend is not the seas and all those things. Yeah. And all we think is the world. Yeah. My friend, he talked about my friend. All that happens is not the world. Yeah. Whether it be black, my friend, it's not yellow, my friend, it's not yeah. or white, whatever nationality may be. Yeah. And I say this all across this room right now. God is. Yeah. But I'm not lost you right now. You know what they say this night? If you live in a white dominated world where white is the majority, the minority is called the racism. I will say this to you. The color of your skin does not dictate racism. The heart behind it does. If you just go to Africa, you find out racism is alive and well. If you just go this night, my friends, to the Middle East, and you as a Jew, you'd find that racism was alive and well. With the nation of Israel, you find that racism was alive and well. You drive the inner city this kind of Cincinnati or the ghettos, my friend, you will find racism is alive and well. I will say this right now is this. Only by the help of God can we not be racist. Only by the help of God this night could we love our fellow man regardless of skin color this night for who and what they are. Amen. I will say this across this room right now. You want to this night, this night about this and that, this and that. I'll ask you one thing. You don't like when people treat you differently because of the color of your skin. They should not because that does not make the person. True. Amen. 
But I'm going to say one thing. If you was the majority, what would you gain? If you was the majority, how would you treat your fellow man? I'll say this right now. You and I may not always sit here and go through life without favoritism. But I will tell you right now, there's a God in heaven that my friend is colorblind. There's a God in heaven, and my friend this night does not look, my friend, upon the color of your skin. He looks upon your heart, my friend, sees a soul. I will say this right now, my friend, God loves you enough. He just didn't die for a certain person. It's not just meant to tell you something right now is this. Jesus Christ is not a white Caucasian male coming back, my friend, sitting his throne. My friend, if I'm my friend, if I'm Washington, D.C., none whatsoever. My friend, let me say this right now, but thank God, aren't you glad? And my friend, it's not one day, there's not a came to his always, own, always seen him mocked, but my friend, he turned this not to the Gentile. I thank God that my friend, it's not, listen, we may sit back, my friend, argue with God, all those different things, my friend, but I will go if I may. That's not the word of God, that's not, listen, I think that's not, but not Romans chapter 9 in God's word. My friend, let me say this across this room, I'm going to get right, this not to a Message. This is not my friend Roman chapter 9 does not listen around verse 13. And he said, This not listen. I believe this now, this not, if I may, in verse 11. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, not to the purpose of God according to election, by standing on the works but of him that calleth. And he said to her, This not the elders shall serve the younger is written, Jacob have I loved, but he saw have I hated. What shall we say? These are unrighteous with God. He said, God forbid. But he said, The most I have mercy, whom I will have mercy, I will have compassion, whom I will have compassion. He said, This not have a power to make one vessel of honor known this honor. Verse 21. But in verse 22, what if God will this not to shew his wrath to make his power known to dear much longer shall the vessels of wrath fit this not for destruction. And my friend, it's not that listen. I want to say this to you right now is this. And my friend, listen, it's a part of life. The Bible said, listen, in the word of God, there's not he told Adam this night. He said this not listen. He said this not, you know what he said, it's not by the sweat of your face. He said this not to eat your bread, it's not to return to the ground. And all he never think the Bible said that the Job of man is born of woman. And there's a few days in full of trouble. I remind you this night. And God never told us upon this earth. Yeah. And we have heaven down here, my friend. Nothing, my friend, told us a lot. Others, not the other. Let me say this. God's no respect to a person. Yeah. Others, not the call. We go through hardship. We go through trial tonight. Yeah. My friend, that's a part of life. Down here, this not trying to pull us. Yeah. But my friend, to eternal heaven, to an eternal God. Yeah. But though we be <coughs> right now, if I can, it's not the word of God. Maybe this not now. Yeah. But not <coughs> <coughs> Friend, it's not when you sit there and you spend eternity, my friend, it's not my friend. Listen, yeah. it's not because God don't want you to be there. Yeah. I want to say this to everyone across this room right now. Yeah. My friend, it's not, don't blame God. Yeah. My friend, it's not the decisions your mom and dad made. Yeah. And when we sit back and do this, not we blame the Lord. I want to say this, my friend. Yeah. God, <coughs> God gives man this, my friend, a choice. And my friend, just not listen. There's so many scriptures running through my mind. Turn your Bibles this night. Yeah. My friend, the 30th chapter this night, the book of Deuteronomy. Yeah. I know I'm going to a lot of places, but Deuteronomy this night, chapter 30, yeah. in the Word of God this night. Yeah. The Bible said, verse 15, He said, I've set before thee. Yeah. He said, It's not life and goodness, not my friend, death and evil. Yeah. Go down this night in verse 19. Yeah. He said, I call heaven and earth to record against you this day. Yeah. He said, It's not this. He said, I set before you. Yeah. He said, Life and death, good and evil, is not choose life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thou and thy seed may leave them. Yeah. And my friend, it's not listen to this. Not he said, I set before you. Yeah. And he said, This not the choice is yours. Yeah. And my friend, we look around this, this not so many times. Yeah. And you don't understand this. My friend, the Bible said, This not listen. He said, He'll visit, I think, the book, my friend, this not of Exodus. He said, He'll visit this, my friend, that didn't leave by the fathers to the third yeah. and the fourth generation. Yeah. We sit around this, not my friend, I'm going to say something, my friend, man, yeah. had the, my friend, a free choice. Yeah. And what you don't understand. Yeah. And we sit back and say, Well, why does God not sit here yeah. and not intervene this? Let me tell you why. Yeah. Because God is patient, long suffering. Yeah. I know we sit back this night. Thank you, Ardell. Yeah. And I know we sit back this night. Yeah. And you always say, yeah. Well, why did God, my friend, allow that drunk, my friend, to come in and beat his wife? Yeah. My friend is not, why does God allow the, yeah. of that mother to sit here and lie and cheat? Yeah. And my friend is not spend every night of the kids has got. Yeah. And my friend is both of the parents right now, isn't it? Yeah. It's both of them right now, friend, to break down the family. Yeah. And while they laugh, her my friend is not to spend every dime they got in drugs yeah. and the baby's going hungry while she's out seeing every man going vice versa or yeah. whatever this night. Yeah. But go, I'll tell you why. Yeah. Because God's a merciful God. Yeah. And my friend, I know the children yeah. have to suffer for that. Yeah. But my friend, you understand one thing right now. If God was just, yeah. if God said you're going to kill every sinner every time they've done wrong, 
this thing would done be to a close. Amen. You're asking, well, how can God let that evil go on when they're so mean, their children, they're doing this, they're doing that. My friend, I want to say something to you right now because God realizes that that person, my friend, that done that is blinded. And you may say, well, how's my friend effects upon the children? I will agree with that. And my friend, we'll sit back this night. It's not God's will. But my friend, I'm going to tell you something right now is this. My friend, society, my friend, has, my friend, a government. We may not believe that, my friend, but God set up society, my friend, with rules and my friend, responsibilities. And when you realize this, my friend, I know God is supreme head, my friend, over everything. But I'm going to tell you something right now this night, my friend, God made man to be head over the woman. And my friend, He made my friend, the woman, the man, to be head over this night, the house. And I'm going to say something to you right now. We sit back and try to preach this right. We blame God, my friend, for faith. It's her responsibility. We blame God that's not my favor of faith. It's not my favor. It's nothing. Hope it's not with the blind choices we made out here in sin. Amen. Amen. It's not the sin. And my friend, you turn me right now. It's not the word of God. I know I'm just going all over the place. It's not the listen. I will go if I can. Amen. It's not in the book of Psalms tonight. 109. 109 Psalms tonight. And what you'll find right now, this not this. He talked about a man that's not by the name. Oh, this not my friend. This not of Judas. My friend, I will say this. I know. He was numbered among the twelve. The Bible will save the devil from the beginning. I understand that, but I am going to say something right now is this. My friend, somebody had to fill that office. But I'm going to tell you one thing right now, someone would fulfill it. But let me tell you something right now, Judas was not predestined, my friend. This guy to die and go to hell. I don't believe that. I don't believe my friend, no lie in this earth. But my friend, it's not you born. My friend, it's not to die and go to hell. My friend, I'm going to say something my friend right now, God. But can be no respect to a person. But you know, here's what we want to do. We don't realize God is self laws, God's self government, God's self authority. Yeah. And I can hear the thing about that. Yeah. Boy, we want to sit here. Yeah. You know what we say? Yeah. Boy, you know what? That's not happening. God let these live. Yeah. These abortion doctors or these people, yeah. these pedophiles, burn these little babies, yeah. everything else in the world. Yeah. Can I say something to you right now, my friend? God. Yeah. If God's going to kill the murderer, he's got to kill the liar. Yeah. If God's my friend, going to kill the liar, yeah. he's got to kill the adulterer. Yeah. You know, idolatry is my friend, a covetous person. Yeah. But I'm a greedy person. Yeah. You know what that is? That's the person I've been running the bank. Yeah. That's the person I've been listening to. Well, this doesn't make any difference. Yeah. Well, you leave souls to stray out the hole. Yeah. But my friend is not greedy. What is the difference? Yeah. You're stealing people down the same path yeah. of destruction. Yeah. You know, I'm going to say this, my friend. I find nowhere in the Word of God yeah. only drunks are going to hell. Yeah. I find nowhere in the Word of God yeah. where well, we think just bad people yeah. are going to hell. My friend, you know what, my friend? Listen. Yeah. Without Jesus Christ, we're all sinners. Without Jesus Christ, we're all leaving people. Yeah. There we're wrong path tonight. Yeah. I'll say this right now. Yeah. We don't got my friend times in my life tonight. But I said that I deserve. Yeah. And it is not my friend the wrath of God. Yeah. No doubt in my mind, my friend, if I live my eyes up in hell. Yeah. At that time when I was 18 year old in college, yeah. and Lord gave me a chance to be saved, yeah. I had no excuse, nobody to blame, friend, because you know what? I made the wrong choice. Yeah. Everything else in the world. Yeah. But the 109th Psalm tonight, yeah. the Bible said this, not in the Word of God. Yeah. And it is not verse 7, yeah. but in verse 6, talking about Judas. Yeah. Seeing not a wicked man over him that I let Satan. Yeah. He said, Stand his right hand. And he shall be judged, let him be condemned. Yeah. And then his prayer becomes sin. Yeah. But his days be few, and never take his office. Yeah. Let his children be fathers tonight, and his wife of a, a widow. Yeah. Let his children, my friend, continue tonight. Yeah. He said, Be vagabounds and bag tonight. And, and then they shall seek their bread also out of the night of their desolate places. Yeah. Let their extortion catch all that he have. And then there's not all that. Let them offer his strangers full his labor. Let them have be none that is not extend mercy unto him, neither let there be. He said, need to show favor to his father's children right now. Yeah. Let me say something. Yeah. We're blaming God, my friend, the condition. Yeah. There are homes, my friend, our lives are in. Yeah. And nothing, my friend, that's the decisions yeah. that mom and dad made. Yeah. Let me say something right now. Yeah. You may not have, my friend, any choice yeah. because you reap the fruit, my friend, of that home. Yeah. And we said back this now, this the Bible said, listen, God is not bought. God has to be just his demons. Yeah. My friend, he has to listen. He has my friend be fair and treat everyone the same with his blessing, but God also has to be fair and just to treat every sinner the same with his punishment. And we look around this room right now, and my friend, I'm glad that it's up to the Lord. 
But let me call your mind and says, God is not treating one person any different than anyone else. Turn me wrong now if I can. The ninth chapter that's not in the book of Mark. My friend, here's Judas' children. My friend, Leo. My friend, that, that life of a bag of man of a bag of My friend, it's not because of the decisions. My friend, let's not listen. That his dad made. But I'm going to say something right now. It says, everyone inside this room, you may leave, my friend, a social, economic, my friend, listen, emotional consequences of the sins of your family, of your mom and dad that's passed on. My friend, I'm going to say something to you right now. I'll be honest with you. My friend, we blame. And you just not children. Why we, you know what we'll do? We'll go back. And why in the world can God allow? Boy, I've seen this. I've seen people dear to me beaten by a brutal man. I have seen people lay in the hospitals and the neurosurgeons that look. You give me the word, I will prosecute this man to the fullest. You look at the husband and says she takes one more beat to her head, she will die. Neurosurgeon said, I will hold you personally responsible. I've seen that. I've been called, let's not little children, mom and dad fights tonight. Let's not screaming and crying. Baby days come. Man's so mad because I show up. I said, I'm not getting you business. He's laying there this night, his arm laid on the butcher knife. She had enough of it. Her face is black and blue because of beatings. I'll say this right now, why do you blame God? Because that man had a daddy this night to beat his mama. And my friend, don't you blame God. My friend, that wasn't God and that one none whatsoever. My friend, that's a fruit, my friend, of a human being. My friend, it's a free moral agent. My friend, my friend, not my friend, living under responsibility. That's not God's will. I want to say one thing right now. There are times God will send the whole record straight. Within this not the age of mercy, you say, well, God, we're prevented. I'm going to say one thing right now. My friend, there are things we can prevent. My friend, there are things we can prevent. My friend, we choose a different lifestyle. My friend, it's not what we've chosen down through life. And you say, well, God could intervene. Yes, God can intervene. But my friend, it's not going to be tell you something. You know what intervene is this? And I've seen God intervene on the righteous. I've seen God intervene. And I'm going to say, I'm not getting in my friend, the things that only God the Father put in time and season. But you want me to sit back this night? And you say, well, how could God allow those little children? That's God made my friend see the beating, my friend the cutting, and my friend all those things. Because God looked back, my friend, generations ago, and about a grandpa to beat his mom, and even beat his wife, and turn around this now the sons go, my friend, to beat their wife, and they had grandchildren, my friend, to beat their children. Hey, my friend, beat their wives. And you want know God looks back? He said, why are you blaming me? He said, I don't respect the person. He said, I didn't come to kill this field of Troy. My friend, let me tell you something. That's not the sad part of it is. When you sat here many a time and you gave your life to God, you've been saved. You'll look back now, you get saved, get enlightened. You'll thank God, I wish you would sit here and rain fire and rest on every drug dealer. Ever, my friend, did I ever bootlegger? Ever a player on this line? Because you know why? Because you see how they wreck lives. I'm going to say something to you right now. Is this the only hope? Listen, for God to do that right now, and one day He will rain judgment. One day He will rain fire and brimstone on this earth. But you don't understand this, my friend, right now. If God done that, my friend, everyone, my fish not been saved by the grace of God, he'd have to destroy. You don't understand that, my friend. If God started destroying the drug dealers, and my friend, he got my friend destroyed, my friend, the greedy dads and moms that's working seven days a week. Leaving yeah. my friend, they're chilling down the pathway. Yeah. They're cub scout leaders, boy scout leaders. My friend, it's not among the lions club. Yeah. All these civic activities, everything, yeah. they've been saved by the grace of God. Yeah. And let me say something to you right now is this. You don't understand it? God's fair. Yeah. You want my friend, the drug dealer, to be cast into hell? God, take him out. Yeah. But my friend, what about the mom and dad, the woman, thing to be? Upstanding, but the friend they're leaving till down life of grief. You can't talk to this guy. Maybe this guy they got a little church dress. Maybe they're still just as lost going to hell. But my friend's ready to go up there. Is and my friend, listen to this now. <laughs> Tell me right now, this is not the 16th chapter, this is not the book. God said, listen, I'm no respecter of person. And understand this right now, I did not want. He just got that young man to be his wife. Let me tell you something right now, sis, that was not my will, that's his choice because he rejected God. I didn't want you to have to see this. But can I tell you something right now, sis, there's a God. And my friend goes around behind fallen man. And man's bad decisions, my friend being a healer. And he's trying to restore lives. Ain't that right tonight? And my friend, let me tell you something, God help us tonight. What we be? If God, my friend, show his wrath. My yeah. friend, glory be this now. God, drop his mercy. Yeah. I will ask everybody across this room right now. Would yeah. Have you out here been time your life? You've been deep, blinded, and seeing done things you wish to God that you've never done. Amen. 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 
Amen. And how many times this night, my friend, listen, God could have took you out, damned you to hell, and never a word ever been said. You could never say nothing. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. God is a merciful God. True. Amen. A merciful, merciful God. And my friend, let me say something. There'll come a day I know His judgment. The Bible said in the book of Revelation, they said there's not in Revelation, there's not the souls of all of this not been slain, been bartered. Hey, I'm going to tell you something right now in America. We're on the verge of some of the greatest persecution. We'll not get away what Polycarp got away from. We'll not get away what the early church. I'm telling you right now, persecution is beginning to come. This not my friend up on this in church world. You say it ain't all because you're not living righteous. All because you're not making a stand. Oh, because you don't stand for Jesus, let the world go by. I'm telling you something right now, this night, if you'll live, my friend, this night, a clear line, if you, my friend, live a life, my friend, this night, he said, who's on the Lord's side? My friend, let him come to me, and you make up your mind, you're going to leave, my friend, a clean and righteous whole life unto God. The Bible said, it's not all that you love God in Christ, you shall suffer persecution. If they persecute me, they shall also persecute you. That's the word of God. If they hate me, this night, they hate them. they'll hate you also. The 16th chapter, this now the book of Mark, let me say this right now. My friend, this night, go <laughs> in verse 15 the Bible said unto them, he said unto them go ye this night into all the world go into all the world this night and preach what the gospel this night to every creature he said every creature on the face of this earth I believe this all my heart and my friend this night this is before the Lord comes back and I know this night that you know and I, I know they'll be preaching my friend the church age leaves and my friend this night he begin to set the kingdom back up and my friend the last seven years this night the great tribulation and my friend let me tell you something from Genesis my friend the revelation it's all about grace and mercy my friend everything this night that God said in that book it's about grace and mercy. Everything that God does, He's trying to pull my feet, sinful and fallen man, but back to the grace and the forgiveness of God. Do you understand this? Of all the things that God created, you and I are the things that He loves and He made everlasting. I'm not everlasting. Yes, you are. If you're here, the Bible said this in the book of Genesis. He breathed in the breast, breast of the nostrils of man. He become a living soul. My friend, listen, you will never, listen, here's the part about this. Once you've been born out of the womb of man, you're never going to die eternally. No, you won't. Life is only going to cease here, then you're going to a world, either heaven or hell, where you are going to live forever. Amen. That's a fact tonight, and I'll say this right now. Listen, please. God does not want you to go there. My friend, listen, the Bible said this night, and he that believeth the night and baptized shall be saved, and he that believeth not shall be damned. And what he's saying right now, my friend, listen, he said, I'm preaching this gospel to all creatures. Go me if I can, this not in the book of 2 Peter, in the word of God this night. He said, listen, for God, 2 Peter, I think, chapter 3, around verse 8, the Bible said this night, listen, for God is not unrighteous. He said this not to... The Lord, excuse me, the Lord is not slack in verse 9, 2 Peter 3, 9. He said, concerning this, not his promise. He said, as some men count slack with his long suffering. Thus, when it's not, not willing, he should perish, but that all that should come repentance. And what is that promise this night? And my friend, one day, what did he say? He said, this not in St. John chapter 14. He said, let not your hearts be troubled. You believe also in God, believe also in me. He said, this not from my Father's house or many mansions. And my soul, I told you so. He said, I go away. And then listen, 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 I I have to die. My friend, if I don't get caught in the coming of the Lord, that day you call the church out in Thessalonians 4 13. If I don't get caught in the great day of God in my lifetime, my friend, I have to die. Dear God, you understand that that is not me. Listen to what they sit back and say. How could God let him die? He, was, he preached all these years. How could God let mom die? No, we love her so much. 90 some year old in the nursing home. How could he say this night? Listen. And let that brother lay upon the bed with cancer and affliction. When you got all these outlaws, there's in every other way. My friend, how can you let him die? Can I say something, friend? I find no word that's not the word of God. Death is every pleasure. I find my friend not listen. I find no word her flesh. Every realize is my friend one way death. It hates the sting of death. And it's not called that's a penalty of sin upon that. Amen. But can I say something right now? It says, Amen. God's not unfair because he looks down and chooses my friend to give glory out of my life. And my friend, I don't know, Bill, how I'm gonna leave. I don't. I don't know how God's gonna look down. And my friend get glory out of my life tonight. But if he's got glory out of my living, he's gonna get glory out of my dying. But here's the thing about this right now. Amen for me to leave. Is Christ and die is gaining. But brother, here's the part about this. But you also have got to die. God's so law. 
He told Adam and his giant and Eve, he said, you take that and you'll die. Because we're the seed of Adam, we're going to die. You can say you'll be born once and die twice, die twice. And my friend, listen, listen, be born twice and die once. Amen? Amen. That's the truth. Amen. But let me tell you something right now is this. If you're saved by the grace of God, think about this right now. God made a promise one day in the book of Revelation. They looked around. They said, Lord, how long? It's not to avenge us, not their blood. Hey, it looks like God, you just let everything go on. My friend, it's not listening. God help us, friend. Think about this right now. You know what? You were sometimes lost. You were sometimes blind out here in sin. And you know what I'm going to say this right now? God has to have them extend the same mercy. My friend, God cannot lie. God cannot treat one person. My friend, better than someone else. God cannot make a difference. But my friend, you judge me. He cannot do that. You tell you something. We made a difference. He saw Jacob. Why? For the purpose of God, my friend, the remnant might be, my friend, be saved. That's why he had, my friend, he made a promise to Abraham. He had to bring that promise through the ages, did he not? Amen. True. For his election, for his purpose. Hey, Amen. You know why? Because he, my friend, have a people called out his name. My friend, I'm going to tell you something right now. This. God will have a remnant. God will have a people on this earth that may be in the three Hebrews. My friend, it's not Daniel's time. It may be Daniel's time. My friend, it may be Elijah. My friend, it's not the time of Abraham. My friend, it may be a few, my friend, before the coming of the Lord. But I'll tell you one thing right now. My friend, God will have a people that will stand up. My friend, it's not my friend to make a difference. God will stand up. My friend will have a people that will stand up for rights, right and wrongs, wrong. And everything else in the world that's not. But my friend, let me say this right now. If you die lost tonight, but my friend, it's not because God didn't like you. I'm going to say something. You may not have, my friend, listen, a choice who raised you. You may not have a choice to influence that upon your life tonight. But I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to go, my friend, to hell necessarily because the decision mom and dad made. You'll die eternally lost and separate from God because of the decision you made. It's not God's decision, my friend, God's will. God's treating you no differently. My friend, you know what? It's no easier to turn from the lies and grips of Satan on a hill of alcohol and drugs than it is being a religious. In fact, I believe it's harder. I believe it's hard to win this night uh, what we think to be an upstanding moral system. Don't drink, don't cuss, don't do good drugs, don't do all those things. But it's greedy and trying to buy the world down here, build a kingdom down here. I want to say one thing this night. It's no, my friend, harder this night for a drug addict to turn. My friend, for a man, my friend, basing all his life revolving around wealth. And my friend, it's not going forward with his inventions. There is no difference. I'm going to tell you why, friend, none whatsoever. And the same God that has mercy, my friend, upon that one sinner. My friend, the same God, my friend, to be just and righteous. And what do you say, my friend, listen to this. Now, in, in the early part of Revelation, I think maybe around chapter 5 or 7, they were sitting on the soul of them on the altar. There's not a sin of vengeance through your blood. But my friend, Revelation chapter 16, I believe it is, when you see, my friend, the fountains turning to blood. Amen. There's not, my friend, the, and the water turning to blood. All it will look, my friend, nothing but blood. And you know what, my friend, is not you'll hear them saying? He said, true and righteous, this not are their old God. He does not be called out as a vengeance, not he said the blood of thy saints and I. And you want know, many times you may sit back and you may think, well, God's not fair. Let me tell you something, friend. On that day, this night, you'll be speechless. On that day, my friend, you'll have nothing to say. But because God's going to pull a book out of you, my friend, listen, your decisions you made, my friend, this night is what's going to determine your eternity. God has not said, he said, listen, I've said before you, personally, heaven and earth, Blessed person, life and death. You do not understand this. The impact that one day that you have on your children, your grandchildren, my friend, leading them blindly down the wrong road. Amen. And my friends, somewhere I know that God will come with every one of us as He did with me. I don't understand all the mind of God. I don't understand how that. And let me tell you, that's not my part. It's just like me trying to figure out man today. And I think, Lord, what else could I do? How much better could I preach? What can I do this not to see people? It's not to get people focused and stay in the house of God. You know what he tells me this night? He said, David, if they won't listen to me, they don't go listen to you. He said, this has not got a thing to do with you. Why swear this night? This is about me. I thought this night was no one not a good preacher this night for 120 years when he stood. 
And I've been while the ark was being prepared, nobody being saved. The Bible says he's a righteous man, wasn't it? And my friend, but you know what, my friend, that, that was only his part. Let me say this across this room right now, my friend, there's a time. My friend, when mercy ends and judgment begins. And my friend, God, my friend, just is just in his mercy. And my friend, this and everything else. Go me right now if I can this. Now the Bible said what? Yeah. Amen. It's not the, but he says, long well, sometimes not well the ancient prayers all come to repentance. Turn your Bibles right now if I may. This is not the first Timothy chapter 2, verse 4 and, yeah. and 5 and 6. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible says, Now all men does not listen. That will have all men to be saved. A L L. He said, Have all men to be saved, friend. Amen. Hold your finger right there. Hosea, excuse me, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 1. The Bible said, Hold everyone that thirst up. Come you the waters and drink. He that, like my friend, without money, without price, my friend, that's not. Let him come, that's not listen. To the waters and drink, my friend, he said, Listen, he that have no money. He that this not, you've got no money, friend. You've got nothing to give me. He that come and drink this night. Let your soul go out of seven fetish this night. He have no money. He has nothing without price. Come and drink water. This not my friend, eat bread without money, without price tonight. But what the Bible said is not for there's one, there's not one God. And one mediator. You know what, my friend? I mean, if that mediator is Jesus Christ, the go between. My friend, he satisfied God on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago that you and I could go free. My friend, he paid my friend God. He satisfied a holy God. And my friend took our sins. The Bible said because God exacted it. He said, The way your sin is that they told Adam, he said, You shall surely die. And my friend, the Bible said, listen, if we'll believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and turn from our sins, accept Him as Savior in our life, the Bible said, this not my friend, we can live this night forever. My friend, <coughs> and we can dwell this night, my friend, a place, my friend, eternally. Do you understand this right now? We, blame, we live in a world of blame game. We're in a world that's not when people, I'm going to say something up. I get sick and tired of people using racism as a crutch, my friend, not to fulfill their potential. I do not believe, I'm going to go on record right now, I do not believe in affirmative action. Affirmative action this night is where they sit here this night and they make a difference tonight because this night you're a minority. You have these this night, my friend, I'm going to say this. I believe every human being ought to get the first chance to excel. I do not believe, my friend, someone else because their skin should be punished. It's not my friend because they got the wrong color of skin. And give special opportunity. That's my friend. That's a respected person. I don't believe in horroring quotas. I don't do it none whatsoever. I believe, my friend, you said this. Now, listen, I believe everybody would have the same ability. But I will tell you one thing. This not, don't you punish somebody else. My friend, it's not my friend because the color of skin. But because my friend, it's not even tell you. If my son makes straight A's in school, this guy makes C's. And you know what, my friend, it's not you let me just because the color of skin that is fresh. It's my friend in itself. Amen. It's not right to tell you right now. Now I don't believe in affirmative action. Amen. Have it any way you want. I'm not getting political. That's, I'm going to tell you what, my friend. That's, that's racism in itself. Sure. That's my friend. Someone called me Kettle Black. Amen. Do you believe that? Whatever well, you want to, you prove me wrong on it. I'm telling you something right now is this. But listen, my friend, everyone, we look around this night. God says, listen, I know your works. Every word throughout the Word of God that's not in the book of Revelation. You know, I'm going to tell you right now, God says, I know your works. I know your works. This time, he said, I'm not unrighteous. Forget your works and your labor of love. We show to my name. Listen. But there's one mediator this time. He said, this night, he said, there is one God and one mediator between God and man and man and Christ. You listen right now, verse 6. Who gave himself a ransom, what? For all to be testified this night in, in due time. What did he say this night? Not just for one of the three, for all. Hey, hello, bro, that's everybody. That's everybody. That ain't just a, and I'm going to tell you something tonight. <laughs> The 144,000 ain't going to be took out of the Baptist church. Amen. The 144,000 is going to come from the same place that God was going to get the 7,000. It's not alive today, my friend, is standing against bail. The 147, where are they going to come from? It's just plain as guts. He's going to take, my friend, 12,000. My friend, it's not under fire. My friend, it's not that listen out of the 12 tribes of Israel. And I'm going to tell you what, this night they're going to be, my friend, be abandoned, my friend, they're going to stand. And I'm going to say something to come a day, my friend, when God is going to see and reign, my friend, upon this earth. And my friend, put everything under his feet. Read 1 Corinthians 15, 24. He said he must reign and put everything under his feet. And my friend, one day, will you want to do one that day? And then you'll turn back this night, my friend, look. And then give, my friend, everything back to God the Father. And I'm going to say this right now. When I get to heaven, my friend, I, I know that a lot of people don't agree with me in this. When I get to heaven, 
I just want to see God. I want to see Jesus on you. Amen. I'm not a God only. I'm not a Jesus only. Amen. I believe this night when I look at this night, I ask the apostles. I believe I saw this night when Stephen looked into heaven. He saw the glory of God and Jesus standing with his right hand, brother. Amen. I don't know how much clear you can get. True. But that right there, amen. True. But go me right now if I can this night. Listen to the word of God. Romans tonight, chapter 10, across this moon. Across this moon. God said, I'm no respecter of person. You may understand all my ways. You don't see all that I do. You don't see this, not this, and I'm going to say this. It's none of my concern. You remember what he told us not talking to him? Peter was being inquisitive about what he told the jar. He said, by will this man tarry to come. What's that? You follow me. I'm going to say one thing right now. It's not one bit of my business, my friend. Listen, the mercy he has in Tommy or Mike or, or my friend the call in his life or how he may do this night. Do use his life for everything else in the world. Hey, it is not Romans chapter 10. It is not the Bible said verse 9 and 10. Thou vow should confess thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved the heart man. Believe in the righteous confession of the mouth man is salvation. Listen to what he said this night. Listen. In verse 12, for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. He said the same Lord over all is rich to all that call upon him. A-L-L. -L. <laughs> For whosoever does not shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. <coughs> hey, my friend, let me say something to you right now. It says, you've got to understand. You say, oh, I believe in Jesus Christ, but you leave my friend to tell the gospel. You leave my friend that God, my friend, sent Jesus down. Because we are helpless sinners, no bigger, no worse. You leave my friend is not the only way to heaven. My friend is willing to turn. My friend, and confess your sins. I mean, turn away from your sinfulness. My friend, acknowledge my Let me say something. You can't be saved. To acknowledge, my friend, the holiness of Christ Amen. and the sinfulness of man. If you will do that, listen to me, please. I'm going home one day. I really am. I'm going home to be in the Lord. And I'm grateful for that. And you know, he put this calling in my heart to preach. And you'll never understand that if you've never been truly called of God. You know, the more you're in this with the Lord, the more you see the moral heart of God that you have. The more you try to sit back and preach with such an understanding that not even a child can understand. But he said, there's no difference whether you're Russian, you're American, you're a Chinese, you're an Ethiopian. My friend, you're a Mexican, none whatsoever does not. The same Lord over all is the rich that call upon him. You know, I like what I saw in, in Christmas, a little side thing. You know, down there this night, you know what the common bond was? Was love. Because you know why down there? Because there's in such poverty, they didn't have, my friend, it's not social levels down there, did they? Everything else in the world, my friend, I'm going to say something, and I'll be honest with you. If you think looking at that film, it's all love, it's all colorblind, think again. Of course, Christopher told me there's racism alive and well in the Dominican Republic, too. Amen? Don't you think they're not? Don't you think they're not? There's some of you right here inside this room. You want to haul this night prejudice. But if you was this night, if you was the majority of this night, I'll tell you what you do, you'd be ready than everybody else would. Amen. Because you know what? Many times you haul prejudice, you're just as prejudiced, my friend, people you're pointing your finger at. You know why the only reason is you're just not the majority where you can do it. And God knows my heart this night, it makes no difference to me. Because my friend, I know one thing, God loves us all. And my friend, the Lord looks at your heart and you say, don't get yeah, he loves you. He loves you enough. I don't believe that, my friend. God, my friend, listen. When it, let me tell you something. Esau represented, my friend, the world system that God hated. My friend, let me tell you something right now. This Esau made the decision. Go me right now. My friend, let's not listen. You made the choice. The Bible said this, not listen, second, I believe in 2 Corinthians chapter 9. This night I think is around 8, 7, 8, 9, if I'm not mistaken. The Bible said this, not listen, he that sows sparingly, my friend, shall also reap sparingly. He that, my friend, is not the soul, my friend, bound shall reap badly. According to every man, purpose, our soul, let him give, for God loveth. This is not a true forgiver. I'm going to go your Bible as I close out here tonight. And, my friend, I know we look around just like I was talking to a brother not long ago. I said, brother, I said, it's just for God to bless you. I said, why is it just for him to bless me? It's okay when the Lord is blessing everyone, you and me. Amen. But what about the Lord looks down, my friend, this night, and chooses this night to see some to bless your brother. Live a day of jealousy in the house of God and your upbeat. 
Been the time this night you're afraid someone else is going to give a little more attention than you are. Been the time when families are divided because we think someone else is going to get a little bit more than me. Brother, you rejoice that's not the people that's not are, my friend, tonight. They have food on the table. You rejoice the person around you, my friend. Don't be a hand about that. They, my friend, they do. Hey, Amen. You want to thank God for that. But you want me to sit back and do this night because I'll tell you why. Because, my friend, God sees the things you don't see. God sees the times. Let me tell you something, friend. God said there he's not changed you. My friend, God looks down and saw every tears run down your face. He said every mile you've ever traveled this night for the Lord. He said every time this night you took the persecution and went on. He said every time you made your adventure. And my friend, let me tell you something right now. God knows a lot of you went to hand out the check tonight. God knows when you went to hand out the blessing. And when you sit back and see this night, this and go with me right now. In the book of Genesis, in the Word of God, this night, the Bible said in chapter 4, Eve had this night two sons, one Cain, one Abel. The Bible said you'll find that Abel had faith. He was a righteous man. Cain had no faith. You'll find this night, this one. And Cain, no doubt, was religious. To a degree, he was not my friend. This night, a righteous, a saved man. He had no faith. The Bible called him a wicked man. Did he not? That wicked Cain? Amen? And the Bible said, now, I'm not going to get into this about the blood sacrifice and all this. The simple fact was, one had faith, the other didn't. Amen. One offered my friend anything to do, the other could offer my friend all the best. Wrong line. You always know, sit back and do this night. We sit back, it's okay. You know, and I believe this is all my heart. And I've heard this and I've seen this. As long as the preacher's going 36 hours a day out of 24, going this kind of old rental trap vehicle, going my friend that's not no shoes on his feet, the testimony that's not eating bone and crackers, all the way to Cincinnati and back, and we'll say this night we're all for him. But all of a sudden this night when the man sits here, my friend, this night my friend can stop at a good place for me, got a pair of shoes that don't have holes in them, my friend got a house to lay his head down in, a good vehicle to drive, and all of a sudden we find animosity, he's into this night and everything, why ain't God blessing me? I'll tell you why, my friend, what are you counting your blessing? I'm going to say this, go right now, this not the word of God. The Bible said this, not this, the Bible said God, the Lord had respect in the king this offered, I'll tell you why, because my friend did a decision, my friend is not the able man. My friend, you want my friend did, God was no respecter person. God never Never loved my friend, let me tell you, Abel. But I only loved Cain. I mean, the cross was made between Cain and Abel. And we looked around this room tonight. And you want to do this night? People sit back and murmur and complain. But I want God to tell me. You can never pray for the house of God. But I mean, you never stay to the trying time. Hey, you just hear this night. God, what you do for me? You hang out every time. Only time God sees you is by me when you want something. Amen. Amen. Hey, shoot it straight. Amen. Amen. And then you turn around this night and murmur and complain. You know what I'm going to ask you? Where were you at when God needed you? Amen. Where were you at this time you had an ability? Amen. My friend, this time to give. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not talking about people make their eyes up in darkness and blindness and realize they made a mistake. I'm talking about people who's got no respect for God but just a God user. Well, there's a difference. Amen. There's a difference between someone that comes to God, with the rise of not in a prodigal state, and say, Lord, I've sinned. But someone that I all the time God hears from is not going to want something. Amen. And go right back to the world that's not very good thing you should not do. True, true. There's a difference. Amen. And God knows that. He's called a respect or person. Let me say this to you right now. My friend, listen, he looked around. There are more killing inside the church, my friend, anywhere I know of. My friend, brothers killing brothers, it's not me on why because we need sin. My friend, it's not, listen, I'll say this. Before you sit back this time, you say, my friend, it's not God's, my friend, hand upon someone's life. Won't you ever sit back and ask God, my friend, reveal you. If you want my friend to pay me this, not your brother gets, then you put the hours that the brother does. I need to tell you one thing right now. God, my friend, he knows your hours. He got a time clock. He said, this not there coming a time. Bless God, he's going to open a book upon us. And the Bible said, well, this not the book of life. And my friend, it's not listening to works for a written by read them. My friend, God makes no mistake there are time. There's not God's righteous and God's fair. And my friend, one day down there, out yonder somewhere, God begins to pour His wrath up on this earth. You may sit back and say, God, you wasn't fair. You know why? Because we only see, my friend, what? Oh, my friend, we see in the natural eyes. And you know what, my friend, those saints of God, one day they'll see when God begins to pour the awesome wrath up on a God hating world. And you know, they'll say that's their true and righteous, oh God. Amen. That's the God of the power and holiness. And God, you are righteous, God. And you judge which are true. Amen. 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 God bless you. 
Whenever questioning God about His judgments being unfair. In heaven. Isn't that all right? They were in the altar of God, were they not sealed? God well, said, just rest a little while. This is more your brother this night be slain. <laughs> he said, I'm finished this up. He said, I'm fair. I know what I'm doing. Amen. He said, you know what? Even some more of my saints had to die. And one soul can be saved. It's worth it. Why? Because, listen, me ask you. What's the difference if we die at the guillotine? Die in the gas chamber because of Christ. Or die in the time of and have a heart attack at the moon. We still die. Amen. We still die. Yeah. But can you imagine how glorious it is to die for the cause of Christ? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine overpowering presence when Paul was left to the Roman block? Amen. Can you imagine this night, listen, when they burn and flame at the stake? My family to hold them over wild animals this night, cutting their guts out, my friend. My friend, this night, the animals sometimes wouldn't even bite on them. The one saint this night that fell in the river, he didn't want to bow. He, they tried to give this night to go back for the, What's that little piece of bread that might be Eucharist or something else? The Roman Catholic Church has a little way for this night. He means to represent Christ. Then the adultery. They come in this night and witness this night. This night the papal did. The, the Pope's witness this night. This man's jail cell. They didn't cut him, flay him up, lay him open. This night cut his arms, his fans off. Everything else they walked him, brought that little little uh, adulterer staff in front of this night and said, if you just bow down this night to the Papa see of Rome. He said, dear sirs, he said, I'll tell you right now, if you don't get that out of my face, he said, I'll spit on it. And you want to tell you, my friend, that's not listen. He knew he had to die. I was God respect a person. No, my friend, blessed heaven. And whose are these? These are they that's not that come out of the great tribulation. And I'm telling you something right now that God is no respect a person. I'm saying something right now, my friend, God's fair. And my friend, if you die without God, and it's not for them, it's not God's will, it's your choice. I'll say this across this room right now. You're bitter and miserable this time. There's, there'll come a time you'll reap the fruit of your ways. Amen. There'll come a time you listen to me. I've been there. No one can tell you about God. You enjoy the pleasure and sin, living your life to the fullest. Then you turn around and sin and catch up with you. You ain't got the clothes in your back, my friends. Now you're scarred and made your life. You got things you're ashamed of. And say, once you get bitter and say, what's God done to me? I'll call your mind. How many years ago did God reach out His hand of love to you and try to save you, redeem you, and place your feet in a, in a righteous path you made a difference in somebody's life? And now you want to blame God for your decision because you're reaping the fruit, my friend, your family, of that life. Heard nobody listen. The Bible said this night of the Cain, he had no respect. Abel, he respected his offering, he blessed him. Amen? Abel, he had not respect. Because why? Abel come and brought the first fruit of his foot. My not of his fruit and the fat thereof. Gave him everything over what he didn't need in his life. The Bible said that this in Cain just brought an offering this now of the ground. Let me tell you, my friend. That it, what, was it the offering? Yeah, with respect. But what kept my friend, what got Cain was the kid of his heart he offered with. Amen. Amen. No respect for God, no faith. Just leftovers in his life. Amen. The Bible said this night Cain was wroth, he was angry. Because he looked over his life this night, sin caught up with him. All of a sudden this night he didn't have his youth no more, Tim. All of a sudden this night he's up in age. This time my friend, his body wrecked everything and we're on trying to help you right now. Mm -hmm. And my friend, I will tell you something. Mm -hmm. My friend, listen, the thief on the cross had nothing whatsoever to give God. My friend, that he done wrecked his life, done been damn, my friend. Mm -hmm. This time my friend, let me tell you something. My friend, the capital closet. Mm -hmm. My friend, my crucifixion. My friend, from the cross. Mm -hmm. And this night, you know what he said? Not one good thing that man could do for Jesus Christ. Not one Sunday school class. Mm -hmm. And man could teach. Mm -hmm. Not one person that man could go back to his time sorry. Mm -hmm. Not one person that man to lead to Christ. Only way he said this night, he said, Lord, we need justice in the duty we were need. But this man done nothing to us. You want Jesus said this not Lord. Remember it is not my committee. One Jesus said the day. The day in salvation the day thou shalt be in me in paradise. Amen. You know why? And God loved him just as much as he loved the guy on the other side. Now my friend is shooting out my friend, cursing him. Railing him, that thou will be Christ in us. Which one are you going to be? Which one are you going to be? Are you going to keep blaming everyone else for your decisions? 
the blind to see. I'm testing. There'll be a time somewhere you made the wrong decision, you will regret it. Amen. May hard in your heart this night. Blame everybody else for your decisions that you made. We want to hurt people say we want to blame her. Moms and dad, this and that. Moms and dad will answer for what they did, how they raised their children. Amen. I want to say something to this. God gave families a government. True. He gave them a social order. Don't you tell me not. Amen. He held men responsible this night, my friend, this night, listen, for leadership in his home and his wife and his children. Amen. He gave the mother, my friend, this night, let me tell you some authority, my friend, this night, to guide that house for children. That is the word. Amen. I'm telling you right now this. I know the man, my friends, leave that home and love. My friends, not my friends, Christ love the church. Understand that and gave yourself for that. But my friend, let me tell you something this. Why are we going to listen? I can't help you think about the home. Influence me as sin with alcohol abuse. But when I reach the consciousness of sin, able to make a, 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 a really a decision on my own. I'm the guy that made that. He come person to me tonight of that battle of the coming college. Choose Christ to me. I, re I rejected him. Mommy and daddy didn't reject him for me. I rejected him. I rejected him because he was Satan out of hell lied to me the same way he did you. And I thank God at 25 year old he redeemed me. Thank God 25 year old had mercy upon me. And I'm going to tell you one thing right now is this. Remember something. This thing is still going on because God's a merciful God. And my friend, you know what you're saying? Listen, God has to be as merciful, my friend, to that vile sinner as He was to you. Amen. But God also has to give the same just punishment to that sinner as He does to you. Amen. God is righteous and true. Amen. Cain, why are you wrong? If I'll do a swell, that I'll not be accepted. The power of those evils lies at the door. I said across this room, God will accept you if you meet the simple conditions of repentance and faith in Christ. Amen. We can find and complain that God is unfair. Find the Lord sitting this night and take Bubby. And Bubby, you no, know, Bubby sitting this night, my friend, let me tell you why the Lord took Bubby. Because, my friend, I'm going to tell you this night, this, God sits back. Why are you blaming God? Because Bubby sat here. Rejected God, my friend. Shot up moonshine, my friend. Drunk moonshine all night. My friend shooting up cocaine, my friend. Exploded his heart. Why are you blaming God? It's not because Bubby chose the wrong path. Why are you blaming God? It's not my friend. God's not going to destroy Bubby. My friend, Bubby's decision, my friend, sin destroyed Bubby. And then we sit back, this not you want to do with God to prevent it. Yes, sir, I could. Any way you do, you break every human being's will and everybody go to heaven. That's not the way it is. You want God to break everybody's will but yours. Amen. It's a law of God, I'll tell you right now, God will never break a man's will. Adam and Eve had a choice. They become their own God. We've got a choice right now. We can live in heaven forever, live a blessed life, die, my friend, this life, and live forever for Jesus. Amen. God is not true. Let me tell you something. Don't you come around. When I'm laying my deathbed, maybe the colon cancer, maybe the lung cancer can't breathe. I don't know, but there's a fact is, I am going to die. Don't you come around as the saints of God and say, how in the world could you be taking me at this time in his life or whatever? Don't do that. God made a promise to me he has to fulfill. Amen. He's got to come back for me. This body has to die for me to get to heaven. Flesh and blood came here. Don't sit back and say, well, God, you're so unfair. Why'd you, why'd you take God? You know this, a 57 year old, and all these outlaws, man, they're such a bad life. I'll tell you why, because that's God's plan. It involves your own life. Amen. That is it. Amen. You want to sit there one way into him because he's out of his battle. Amen. 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 I had nothing to do with that. If prayers could change and the children's prayers would have done that. My little grandson out there down in Bob's grave and laid there and cried for Bob to come back this time. Let me tell you something. God heard that before he, Bob ever left. Just because we die as a Christian 
does not mean God's unfair to us. He's fulfilled His promise to us all. Amen. 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 Pass across this room here tonight to everyone. Listen to me. I understood what I said. As long as there's breath in your body, the Lord loves you. He's willing to forgive you. If you look down and draw on you, He's willing to forgive you. When you get saved, you cannot change your past or exactly you set your children and the bad things you've done. Amen. But from that day forward, you can make a difference and show them something a different way, can't you? Amen. Don't sit here and blame the Lord this night, my friend, because you get saved. Talk to him about church. They blow you off this night. Go to the state by state, come to the house of God with you. Or simply follow the example you did before you got saved. Pray that God have mercy on them like you have in you. Across this room, I ask every head to bow. God said, I am no respecter of person. I want to save everyone. He said, you preach the gospel in all of the world to every creature. That's across this room right here tonight. Preacher, I know I've made bad decisions in my life. And it wasn't this night God treated me any differently. I accept this night. I've reaped what I've sowed. I did not want my life going that way. I've made bad decisions. I just made bad decisions. And I know that. Let me say this across this room. God's will to forgive one is willing to forgive all. And my friend, understand this. If God is just in blessing you, why do you resent? It's not why do you get angry when God blesses someone else. Amen? Why? Amen? God's fair. God's just. But my friend, if God is just also dealing out punishment to your fellow man, then God also has got to be fair and dealing out punishment to you. Across this room here tonight, God saying, listen, I don't care what your past is. I'm going to forgive you. You're here tonight with all my heart by the divine appointment. I mean, it's no question this night, this is the first message of revival. And you across this room believe that God's will to be the same with anyone else. You are no better, no worse. Preacher, I know I need forgiveness in Jesus Christ. Pray for me, God, accept that. You simply raise your hand and say, Pray for me. And we will, I promise you, I will. And you raise up your hand and say, Preacher, simply pray for me. Thank you. Across this room, thank you. Across this room, I know, thank you. Across this room, I know I need forgiveness. I know that. I know, thank you. Some of you just not, I know I need to be saved. I need to sit here. You know what? God's treated. God has had nothing but mercy upon me. God's had mercy on me. He's treated me no differently. I've made bad decisions, but I've made them. Where I'm at right now because of my decision, not God's. Well, I say this to you, say, preacher, pray for me. I need to do this. Anyone else across this room, you just raise up your hand. Anyone else? Thank you. You know what that means, you raise up your hand? If you're willing to turn away from your sin, you accept Jesus in your heart. You that will sing, come very gently sing, pass me not. Last the night, you'll sit here and you'll consider. You'll consider your choice. You see, this night, this is your choice. God's done made the choice. He said, Whosoever will call the name of the Lord can be saved. His outcome that you might have life have it more abundantly. He's saying this night, listen, it's not my will that you perish. He's not want you to be saved. He said, I know the home you brought up in. I know all the circumstances. I know the example that mom and dad set. I know all these things. I know a lot of those things was not my will. But because mom and dad made the wrong decision, that's not, you know what, they were your children. That's, not, that's why that's not that you're where you're at. But through all that right now, God said, listen, yet there come a time regardless of the home you come from, there come a home time. And he says, listen, I, this is your day. I call you to record. 
I'll forgive you. See, I done made the decision to forgive you. I done made the decision to feel the cult leader, the murderer, Man. the rapist. The back of the three-piece suit goes to church laws. See, I've done, I've done made a decision. I'm willing to forgive all. A-L-L. -L. Amen. Every one of us, I'm willing to forgive you. Amen. And right now, this, the choice is yours. You can sit here one day, be a king, make the wrong decision, and one day see someone else prosper and live a good life and be bitter and angry and slay your brother or be bitter in life. True. As I close out, one day you'll realize the reason you're where you're at is it's a lake of fire. Not because it's God's will you went there, but because you made the choice. I hope you understand this. I rest in my spirit. I pray, try to prepare my heart. I try to read and study. I walk across my back porch and look down at the hall. And I really try to prepare my heart to do the best I can to present you the gospel tonight that he gave me to give you. And I have to I really have. I've done my best not to do. You may walk out this door and never come back.
Thank you. 